Another story at six. Day two in a planned search for missing six year old Summer Wells is now over. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation said teams scaled previously identified points of interest in Hawkins County. The agency says much of the area where Summer disappeared requires extra time to search thoroughly. They say it's extremely steep and dangerous. News Channel 11's Ansley Daniels spoke with Hawkins County Sheriff Ronnie Lawson, the lead investigator in the case. Yeah, Ansley, the sheriff told you today that Summer's family now currently is not cooperating with law enforcement? That's exactly right, Josh and Sarah. He also told me that the family has attorneys. Now, he did tell me that he didn't want to speak any further on the matter, but I did have the chance to speak with Summerwell's mother and grandmother at the home where she disappeared earlier today. And her grandmother told me that she wanted to address the sheriff's comments about them not cooperating, as well as whether or not they have an attorney. And this was the first time that we have spoken with her on camera since her granddaughter went missing. Mr. Lawson stated that Candace and the whole family is lawyered up. I can't speak for Donnie, and I know Candace hasn't because she's told me she hasn't, and I have not. If law enforcement wants to talk to me, TBI wants to talk to me, they have my phone number. They know when I leave the state. They know when I'm here. Summer Wells grandmother Candace Hare says she hasn't spoken with law enforcement since December 13th. They have not contacted me since the YouTubers were down here in the driveway and we asked them about trespassing. Summer's grandma was with her granddaughter all day on June 15th, the day she disappeared. She walked me through what they did that day and said she and Summer were repotting cactus plants outside of her camper and then... Summer came in and had a piece of peppermint which is her favorite, and then she went in, she said, Mama, I want to go play with the boys. Candy walked her back to the house, and she asked the boys to keep an eye on her, and that's the last time I seen her. As the nine-month mark of when her granddaughter was reported missing approaches, she says the social media and online rumors have to stop. If they want to help, that's great, but if they want to spread lies, that's a different story. Because that's all they're doing now is spreading lies. They're reaching and trying to figure out what lie can we spread now. And I'm tired of it. Now, Summer's mother, Candace Bly, did not want to go on camera. However, she did write this statement for us on my notepad. You see it right there on your screen as well. It says, I've never stopped talking to law enforcement. No, I have not lawyered up. I don't understand why this is being said. I can't speak for Dawn, and we are willing to do whatever to bring our daughter Summer home. Thanks for all the searchers. Now, she also did not want to address her new YouTube channel, Dr. Phil, or anything other than the comments by the sheriff made earlier today. However, she and her mother, Summer's grandmother, wanted me to reiterate how thankful they were for the searchers who are still out looking for Summer, as well as law enforcement for still keeping this investigation open and fresh. Live in Beach Creek, Ansley Daniel, News Channel 11. Ansley, thank you. March 15th will mark nine months since family members say they last saw Summer in the Beach Creek community at their home. The TBI statewide Amber Alert for Summer remains active tonight. They're waiting for calls with credible information to 1-800-TBI-FIND.